Hello, and welcome back to TK's Bar. I'm your host, Tessa, and today we're making a Kentucky Buck. So first off, I'm giving you some goth babe vibes here. So what is a Kentucky Buck? It is a bourbon-based cocktail, which we don't normally do on this channel, but we're gonna try it out today. This is a fun one because I think it's gonna be more on the sweeter side of a bourbon cocktail, which is why I wanted to try this one out. So if you wanna sit back and relax and watch, feel free, or you can grab your shaker and you can make this alongside of me. This is my first time making this cocktail and I'm really excited for it, so let's get straight into it. So first into our ingredients, we, of course, this is a bourbon-based cocktail, so our first ingredient is going to be our bourbon. This is a Maker's Mark bourbon and it's a Kentucky bourbon, which is perfect because we're making a Kentucky buck. If you can't find that, any bourbon will do. Um, this is just the one I'm using today. So then our next ingredient is our simple syrup. As you can see, I'm kind of running low, but finish it off today. Um, if you don't know how to make simple syrup, you can actually go on TK's Bar Instagram and there's a quick how-to in my highlights for anyone who doesn't know. So then we've got our lemon juice. I've gone and fresh squeezed this lemon juice today. If you can't get your hands on some lemons, store-bought lemon juice is totally okay. I'm just a big believer in getting it straight from the source. So if you can fresh squeeze your lemon juice, I would strongly suggest it. So then our next ingredient is gonna be our strawberries. One strawberry is good. I've gone and cut up two. I don't know why. I should have only cut up one, but I'll just eat the rest of them. Then we've got some Angostura bitters. Um, I think that this is gonna play a really cool role in the drink, so I would strongly suggest if you can get your hands on it, definitely get your hands on it. So then our last ingredient is gonna be our ginger beer. We're just gonna use this to top off the drink afterwards. This one is definitely more on the sweeter side. If you want more of a spicy ginger beer, I would strongly suggest you taste your ginger beer before putting it in mixing with cocktails because they all have a different flavor. Um, you can get some that are a bit more neutral where you just have that ginger flavor. And then this one I would say is a bit more on the sweeter side. And then there's some like really spicy ones in my opinion. <laughs> okay, so next on to making our drink. So into the bottom of our shaker, we're gonna start off with two ounces of our bourbon. Okay, and then onto our simple syrup, we're doing half an ounce. Then we're going to do three quarters of an ounce of our lemon juice. Then we are going to do two dashes of our Angostura bitters. One, two, watch out, these totally stain your countertops, so be aware of that. You're welcome. And then lastly, we're throwing in our strawberry, all chopped up. I might wind up throwing in a little too much because I chopped up too, but throw in approximately one strawberry. And then we're just gonna muddle this all up. Awesome, then we're just gonna throw some ice in here and give it a quick shake. And then we're just gonna strain this into our glass. So the glass we're using today is a Collins glass or a tall highball glass. This is kind of somewhere like halfway in between. Um, I would just suggest something that's about 14 um, ounces, but you can use whatever you want. So now that we've got our ice in the glass, we're just gonna double strain this in so then none of the strawberry gets into the drink. Look at the color of this, it's already so pretty. So then, the last thing to do is just top this with some ginger beer. This ginger beer is so good, by the way. If you want like a sweeter ginger beer, it's like my favorite. <laughs> Perfect, and then we'll just give this a quick a little stir here. Little stir here. So the last thing we need to do is just garnish this baby up. I really like the color of this and I want it to kind of stand out so the only thing I'm gonna do to this is just put a lemon wheel on the side just like that. Beautiful! Okay and the last thing to do is just taste this. I'm really excited but we'll see. Mm. 
oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, so you can definitely taste the ginger beer and the choosing a different flavor of ginger beer is gonna really alter this drink. So if you want a sweeter drink, choose a sweeter ginger beer. If you want a spicier drink, definitely choose a spicier ginger beer. Um, there's another ginger beer that I know. One second. If you're wanting to try a spicier ginger beer, I really, really like this one. It's the Great Jamaican Ginger Beer Co. And this one's a decently spicy one, so I would drink it beforehand just to try it. But, but I really, really like these if you're looking for more of a spicier ginger beer. So if you don't like ginger beer, you're probably not gonna love this, but if you do like ginger beer, I think that this is a really nice, refreshing cocktail where you don't, the ginger beer isn't overpowering it, the bourbon isn't overpowering it, it's not super sweet, it's just a really nice combination, um, a really nice balanced cocktail, actually. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really enjoyed making this and was pleasantly surprised by this cocktail. Um, I really, really enjoyed it and I would actually really recommend it to anyone else who's looking for a new refreshing bourbon cocktail to make this summer. Other than that, thank you guys so much for watching again and I'll see you in my next one.